ka do jo ma na mchi de ba bere e baba ke ke ne busa ba zakaro ke ga mi supply sa chirga a jonde ba ni le ba sakido ma na ko ke mingi intola birnana cabbage green pepper watermelon transport la do ba so jado ma na ni akido ma ni ke ji amado si ko do ma dukusu ijo da ke ga de ni ba Financial inclusion and access to financial services or products has boosted the development of small and medium enterprises involved in targeted value chains. We have a focus for access to market through the, the support to the various value chain identified. These were mapped based on the district need. So partners across the consortium have certain value chain. And we have PAMCOP, the one doing, implementing the marketing and uh, the value chain component. The purpose is to make sure that uh, the system here appreciates the project right from the beginning and towards the end, they are taken on. There will be a continuation of uh, extension provision by our own extension workers because they have an idea what this project uh, uh, requires. They have an idea of where the beneficiaries are in terms of uh, uh, their locations in those sub-counties. So we see the impacts being sustained. And uh, we are not just going to leave the businesses' ideas with the, the project. The parish development model is coming. So these are existing groups that we shall provide and be able to take on. Bazia mana nra faze ze pengo zigolo do ama kovu bi mo gbale doga aruaga sambala suga akoda fe transport marida sena manu sura de kiki monda la roga acha tin se de ke amane akwaji de ne ama transport minga ko ango zika ku de lo we se amane nti ban school fee zero da mo ke amane su baruda I really prepared this room in order to bulk farmers' produce, including my own from my own garden. This room has really helped farmers in the community in bulking their grain produce, that is sunflower product, harvested cassava, and many other things. We have already arranged with the Mukwano group of companies from Lira who will be bringing seeds for Yombe district and the, on a return the lorry will be taking the grains remaining in the store. Inclusive value chain strengthening was an effective instrument for fighting inequality, favoring high incomes for small producers, bringing a more balanced repartition of the value added at the different stages of the production and transformation processes. Simsim -sim and uh, cassava alone is estimated to annually uh, gross about 18 billion shillings in, in trade. Uh, however, uh, the farmers who are the weaker players in the sector do not seem to uh, receive a fair share of the benefits from, uh, from the sector. Largely because the marketing system uh, works in favor of the much stronger players like the traders and the export yeah, companies. Yeah. So as Palmco, in uh, the EUTF RISE project, we are coming in to facilitate the farmers to be able to gain access to uh, better markets for their produce. Annually, the amount of sesame bought by traders, most of whom are agents of export companies, is over 4,600 tons worth $4 million, which translates to about 14 billion Uganda shillings. However, According to studies conducted in West Nile, the region has the potential to produce up to 13,000 tons worth $11 million, which is about 39 billion Uganda shillings. 
but this is not achieved due to constraints in production and marketing of the crop. The EUTF rice project with Palm Corps stepped in to help farmers in West Nile in the sesame value chain. The project has supported about 3,500 farmers, both refugees and hosts, to address challenges in sesame production by distributing high-yielding seeds, animal traction to open up more acres for production, and training on good agronomic practices. As a result in 2020, about up to 1,166 acres of sesame was grown, and this produced an estimated 259 metric tons of sesame. Those who are growing cassava, the district production officer is already planning to certify their cassava, cassava gardens. And if they are certified, then they can also be able to supply nuts, for example. Nuts not under NRC. So you see there's already that linkage and the synergy which is there. Access to information has been a key element of the inclusive value chain approach. When Palm also came in, they, they started getting information from us as sunflower growers. They could also call me to their farmer group meetings. I could go there to guide the farmers on how to grow sunflower, how to make the post-harvest handling issues and many others. And also, after they have harvested their grain, and I could inform them, please don't waste time to keep the grain there, green and keep it at the bulking center because here it can easily be marketed within a short period of time and you get your money. As you know, I'm going to become a teacher person in the room. I'm going to go to the school. 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 I'm going Palmco has so far established market linkages where farmers from 30 farmer field school groups sold 10,622 bags of cassava cuttings worth 181,955,000 Uganda shillings. Finding market and selling produce at a price that you appreciate as a farmer, has been the biggest obstacle for farmers to sustain agriculture. But the role of palm corps has really opened the eyes of the farmers to the possibility of agriculture being a business to earn income besides feeding the families. There have also been uh, linking, linking farmers and also entrepreneurs to the relevant to appropriate markets where they are. This also enhances the value chain. If you are producing, then who are you supplying to? The person is supplying what is the end product at the end of it all. Overall, we have been able to uh, support uh, 200, I mean 2,782 farmers to gain access to, to market across uh, three uh, crops, including simsim, sunflower, and vegetables, 40% uh, of which are refugees. Yes. Um, and uh, what we see is that there are farmers who have testified that with the income they get from sale of their produce, they've been able to 
uh, invest part of the money into buying seed uh, to reproduce. Uh, there are some who are using the money to pay for school fees of their children and improve their livelihood in, uh, in general. The EUTF RISE project has supported about 20,470 beneficiaries directly and 81,880 beneficiaries indirectly with 69% of them female and 56% refugees in its areas of operation in Yumbe, Ajumani and Arua in all six output interventions.